Have you ever faced a challenge so daunting that it seemed impossible to overcome? What if I told you that there's a force so powerful that nothing is truly beyond reach? In today's video, we're uncovering how the God of miracles turns the impossible into possible. Stick around as we explore incredible stories and truths that show us how miracles can happen in the most unexpected ways. But here's why this matters to you. If you don't recognize the limitless power of the God of miracles, you might miss out on the incredible possibilities that lie before you. The stakes are high. Understanding this power could change how you face your struggles and pursue your dreams. Don't let doubt hold you back from experiencing the miraculous breakthroughs waiting just for you. Miracles are moments when the extraordinary enters our lives and the impossibly imaginable becomes feasible, much like lights that shine in the dark. They serve as a reminder that, despite all appearing lost, there is a higher power that loves and looks out for us. Miracles are acts of God's miraculous intervention, evidence of God's abounding love and presence. The natural order of things is disrupted by miracles, which are only possible through supernatural intervention. These are intentional deeds that demonstrate God's benevolence and omnipotence rather than random occurrences. We frequently forget that miracles transcend the laws of nature rather than being violated in a world that places such a high importance on reason. They extend an invitation for us to let go of our comprehension and open our hearts to a bigger reality. When we discuss miracles, we are discussing the intervention of a higher reality, or God, in the usual course of the cosmos. They serve as a reminder that we are under the loving guidance and protection of a supernatural entity. Though miracles originate from a spiritual source that gives meaning to everything, we frequently attempt to explain the unexplained. Recognizing God's existence means acknowledging His ability to act in ways that are beyond our comprehension. So what if the challenge you're facing right now is the very opportunity for a miracle? How can you open yourself up to the God of miracles and transform your impossible into possible? Let's dive in and find out how you can experience the extraordinary in your own life. The act of creation itself is a marvel, a work of art that serves as a reminder of God's majesty and greatness. May we acknowledge the caring and strong hand of God as we reflect on the miracles in our lives. Being the God of miracles, nothing is impossible for Him. While everyone desires a miracle, nobody wants to experience the kind of catastrophe that calls for one. To genuinely require a miracle, one must first have a problem. The more serious the issue, the greater the need for a miracle. Miracles are nice, but we don't enjoy the issues that come with them. You will experience this at some point. When the phone rings, your orderly, serene life will abruptly become chaotic and chaotic. You are going to encounter an uncontrollable crisis sooner or later. Jeremiah 33.3 states, Call to me, and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. This indicates that our God desires to work miracles in your life. There are times in our lives when we encounter situations from which there appears to be no way out. Our minds are capable of performing all the computations necessary, and they will. Inform us that there is nothing more that can be done. Maybe you have a job and you know that God wants to bless you, but you see your circumstances and believe that God cannot work in them. Your connections with co-workers are strained, your supervisor dislikes you, and the atmosphere seems to be at its peak. You think there is no way God could work in this circumstance. However, as stated in Matthew 19, 26, Jesus looked at them and said, With God all things are possible. With man this is impossible. After so many years of moving in the wrong direction, you can now believe that God alone is unable to save your marriage despite His promises. How could God be able to make these changes in your life? Maybe you have been dealing with an incurable illness for so long that the news depresses you. You don't know what God would do, so you don't think He can accomplish anything. As a result, your thoughts start to steer you away from the greatest things that God has for you. You begin to forget the prior miracles when God accomplished the seemingly impossible and begin to believe that impossible things are unachievable. Have you ever had a moment in your life where God worked a miracle that defied explanation? When there seemed to be no way out, something happened and you had a breakthrough. You experienced a miracle in your life that was beyond human comprehension. The mind frequently constructs barriers by declaring things to be impossible. 
Although the Bible describes many miracles, many people do not think that God can perform the same miracles for them in the present. To believe that God can work in your life right now is faith. Many people in our world claim that some tasks are unachievable. Some people, even within the church, have doubts about the Holy Spirit's abilities and power. Occasionally, we read the scriptures and assume that the miracles are from a bygone era. But friends, remember that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It's not only about a time, it's about an eternal power, Hebrews 13.8. Throughout the whole scripture, God's people were characterized by bravery and fearlessness. They remained steadfast in their belief that God would keep his word. Do you recall a time when you were a youngster and had that absolute faith, believing that God could accomplish anything? We grew up hearing these stories. God delights in working in challenging circumstances and revealing his glory when all appears hopeless. God had placed the Israelites in a precarious predicament where they faced the sea, mountains on all sides and approaching Egyptians. They wondered, what's going on? It is not feasible to do this. However, what's the deal? God has the power to move mountains and open the sea, even in situations where it all appears impossible. He'll figure something out. All we have to do is maintain our faith that God can still intervene despite the appearance of impossibility, as nothing is impossible for God, Luke 137. Though I'm not sure how God will work things out financially, I do know this. He will supply all of your needs in accordance with the fullness of His glory shown in Christ Jesus, Philippians 4.19. I worship a God of miracles, not a God constrained by the commonplace. The God of Scripture is a God of wonders. Adam became a living soul when he first breathed life into a handful of dirt. It was quite miraculous to serve as a constant reminder that he is the limitless creator. He launched brilliant stars like diamonds against the velvety darkness, dividing day from night. He set the sun on fire and set it ablaze, creating an everlasting flame in the sky. The creative power of God is immeasurable. God of the Bible is a God of strength and endurance, grace and glory, power and miracles together with about two million people. Moses parted the Red Sea and set foot on dry land. The blind, deaf, and crippled were all healed by God. That's the ability to work miracles, my friend. We follow a Jesus who normalized extraordinary acts of God's power. He worked wonders every single day. You contain that same spirit. Even at church, it is rare to hear someone tell you how strong you are how magnificent the God who lives within you is, and what you are capable of. Regretfully, we are growing more and more afraid. As stated in 2 Timothy 1.7, For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Jesus never took pleasure in cowardice. He never found satisfaction in people who doubted his ability to accomplish the seemingly impossible. But do we no longer feel awe at God? Do we see His majesty and strength so frequently that we lose sight of Him? Have you ever observed the fiery ball that shines on the horizon during sunset or sunrise? It is a breathtaking wonder that is challenging to really understand. Why does this matter? Because Almighty God's fingertip accidentally released a divine spark of splendor on the morning of creation. Every day it glows in the sky, serving as a celestial billboard that announces to the world's nations the amazing might of the God who made both heaven and earth. He is amazing, brimming with miracles, the world's light. There are moments when we worry too much about how we may best assist God in carrying out His purposes. We must step aside and give God the space to work. Simply have trust that He will make the seemingly impossible possible. He will show up in all of His majesty so that years from now, we may look back and declare that God, not us, did it. Many believe that while God may easily heal a headache, He cannot cure cancer. Let me assure you God is not up against cancer. You can move mountains when you truly believe in God. For you, God will move mountains. According to Matthew 17, 20, He answered, Because you have so little faith. I promise you that you can tell this mountain to move from here to there if you have even the tiniest amount of confidence. You won't encounter any obstacles in life. All that has to happen is for you to give up, hoping for a miracle, and begin believing that God wants you to see it. He wishes to surprise you, so when we become weary of waiting and speculating, asking ourselves, 
How is God going to do this? Instead of putting our faith in Him, we should just respond, God, I trust in you. Our thoughts frequently center on what the devil is providing and speculate that it might be effective. It's not what I had anticipated and it's not a major miracle, but it will do. This situation will do for me. But keep this in mind. God is not a God of half measures. He is going to work a miracle in your life. Don't settle for less than the best. When we face difficulties and roadblocks, people begin to doubt our ability to succeed. Our resolve, bravery, and faith seem to wane. This is incorrect. We ought not to live like this. Why am I not as convinced as I once was? God is our parent, not just when we are young, but even at 40 and 80 years old, God remains God. We must choose whether to proceed. God has worked wonders throughout history, and rather than the other way around, our bravery and daring need to increase as we gain knowledge. The Lord who cures all illnesses, Jehovah Rapha, remains our Heavenly Father. His Son, Jesus Christ, continues to be the great healer, Gilead's balm, and the vanquisher of hell, death, and the grave. This is the living God's message, and it has two sides. This is the living water, the bread of life. Speaking this word under the anointing of the Holy Spirit transforms it into a divine declaration with the power to move mountains and heal illnesses. This book describes you as what you are. What this book says you can accomplish, you can. What this book says is yours to have. What this book says you can know, you can know. Wherever this book claims you can go, you can. Proceeding in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ will make nothing difficult for you because it states in this book, and I will do whatever you ask in my name. Christianity would be the world's biggest religion if this verse were the only one in the Bible. You will receive it if you ask. I'm pleading with God today to grant you the miracle that will change your life. Say amen in the comments if you agree with these statements. I now extend an invitation to everyone to join us in a minute of prayer. We bow down before you, beloved God, the creator of heaven and earth, realizing that nothing is beyond your power and grandeur. You are the God of miracles. You are the one who can do the impossible and elevate the commonplace. Lord, we give you thanks for your boundless wisdom and love, which are shown to us in every miracle, no matter how big or small, that we see. We beg you to give our hopeless circumstances a fresh life, just as you gave it to Adam. We beseech you to dispel our darkness and lead us with your everlasting light just as you did when you cast stars like brilliant diamonds into the sky and divided day from night. We put our faith in your promises, O God, our provider. We are confident that you will meet all of our needs in accordance with your wealth and splendor, just as you did for your people in the desert. We beseech you, Lord, to part the clouds and shower us with blessings until there is no more need. Heal the sick, mend the broken heart, and calm the racing thoughts. Heavenly Father, we pray for new miracles today while we recall the old miracles. We ask that you divide the oceans of problems we confront and open a passage where we see no way out, just as you parted the Red Sea to let your people cross safely. Please knock down the seemingly insurmountable barriers in our life, just as you brought down the walls of Jericho. Extend your powerful hand over us, Lord Jesus, you who raised the dead, calmed storms, and walked on water so that we can walk in confidence and believe that nothing is impossible for you, fill us with your Holy Spirit. As a mustard seed that can move mountains, it helps us to have steadfast faith. God of mercy, please pardon our uncertainties and anxieties. Restore in us the bravery and audacity that your people have shown over the years. May we, like Paul, carry on the good fight, complete the course and maintain our faith. May we boldly proclaim that with God, nothing is impossible and may we act accordingly. I give thanks to you, Lord, for all of your past, present, and future wonders. May you make your glory evident in our lives so that everyone can recognize you as God. We glorify you, we love you, and we have total faith in you. We pray in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. I sincerely appreciate everyone who watched this entire video through to the finish. We are glad you joined us in this potent prayer. I pray that God richly blesses every one of your families and yourself till the subsequent video.